YouTube, it's Jay McKay and welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. I wanted to get on here and give you guys a life update because I've been gone for maybe three or four months. The summer started and everything got hectic and it was just, you know, a lot going on. So I wanted to get up here and give y'all give you guys a life update. Let y'all know what's going on with me, how I'm coming back to YouTube, how I'm going to stay consistent and how I'm going hard. As most of y'all know, I do have a summer business that is an ice cream truck. So that alone took up a lot of my time away from being able to record YouTube. And also, if you guys do not know, I am expecting. So I am having my third child. I'm about six months right now, almost seven. So y'all missed majority of the pregnancy. I'm sorry. So, But I have videos and stuff and I'm going to post stuff, you know of old stuff so you guys can see and kind of go through the journey with me and then include you guys on the last couple months because of course the last couple months are very important with getting ready for the baby baby shopping baby shower maternity shoot all that good stuff and then going into my routine with a newborn and stuff like that so on top of me being pregnant i do have two children who were not in summer camp this year because my six-year-old actually broke her arm on her hoverboard so if your kids have hoverboards, make sure if you're going to allow them to ride it, make sure they are padded up. Helmet, elbow pads, knee pads, all that stuff because she actually fractured her forearm and she is actually still in the cast. So most of her summer has been spent in the cast. So we're going to have to do some stuff in the last couple weeks of August before she goes back to school on the 28th and then kind of keep, you know, doing more stuff with her in the fall since she wasn't able to enjoy her summer after kindergarten. So I promise that I'm going to take her to do some stuff. And then, of course, we're going to do some family vacations and stuff like that, too. Once the baby comes, because I don't really want to do much now because I'm always getting tired, out of breath like I am right now from talking. So, yeah, you guys, that's been going on. So my business has been doing really, really well this year. I wanted to um, do more events because I usually do a lot of neighbor I have like, neighborhoods who have been my loyal customers for a long time. But this year I wanted to have events, which I always have events every year, but this year I wanted to double, triple the amount of events that I had, which has been going well. But like, I was going hard for like the first six months, but like over the last two or three weeks, I've just been really, really lazy. So I'm trying to get out of this funk of laziness, but it's just so hard, especially because I was so consistent in the beginning. I'm getting bigger. I'm finally popping. I am finally popping so yeah i haven't really gained that much weight um i think in like the six months i gained probably like, i think it was like six or seven pounds which isn't a lot um if you have been pregnant um if you haven't it's not a lot but in my past two pregnancies i gained a lot of weight and y'all know i went on a weight loss journey so i've been eating pretty normal I don't say I have like crazy cravings. Like I love Hershey, the cookies and cream Hershey bar. But other than that, I don't really, you know, go too crazy on the cravings. I eat normal, like a regular person. Sometimes I'm hungrier than others. Like now I see myself getting hungrier in the morning. So I have to have a really good breakfast and stuff like that, but nothing too crazy. And I think that's helped me keep my weight at a good point. But I've also was um 180 and so technically for my height i should have been i think 170 so that's probably another reason why i didn't gain weight as fast as well because i was already over the weight that i should have been technically which i like the weight but you know that's what they say um what else um yeah so like i said i just wanted to get up here and update y'all um on what's going on because i'll be posting videos of different pregnancies stuff like when i take my maternity shoot my baby shower planning my shower labor delivery video and a couple other things too because i have a kid with a september birthday my youngest right now she turns four in september and then i have my son yeah i don't know if i told y'all i'm having a boy so i am so excited because i have two girls and they are daddy girls so i know that he will be a mama boy but anyway um i have then my son will be born in october and then my daughter's birthday is in November and then Christmas and the holidays and all that stuff starts. So I will have plenty of stuff to post. I always said that I was gonna get me a camera once I've been more consistent, but I fell off. So now I gotta prove to myself that it's worth the investment by being consistent 
I'm gonna give me a camera so it'll be a lot easier to vlog and take y'all with me if I go out for different stuff like that but yeah that's really all that's going on with me now right now um we haven't quite got a full baby name yet but once we get that I'll be putting that in the video and doing different fun stuff like that I'll take y'all to an appointment with me I love my daughter she's great um I have no complaints about my doctor I have went to the same OBGYN for my first two pregnancies and it was okay it was like you know I didn't have really like crazy bad experiences but um this place they're really nice um they always have nice attitudes always willing to help they're just overall great so I really like it so if you're in the Charlotte area um Tiffany Jones OBGYN she's great she's at Providence OBGYN but Tiffany Jones is great black lady educated blah all that good stuff i'm trying to think of what else you guys because i'm out of breath but i'm trying to think of what else i can tell y'all so i have kind of started getting stuff for the baby like i have a lot of diapers a lot of clothes i have my breast pump i have some diaper well i already said diaper. i have some bottles um i have to get me a stroller i've been trying to decide what i wanted maybe i could take y'all stroller shopping with me i mean maybe i can do that in the next few days kind of go test some out i kind of know where i want to go with because i kind of wanted to go with the donut for convenience because ooh, excuse me because i already have two kids so i don't want to be like getting my kids my oldest two kids out the car having a baby sitting in the car having to get the stroller out of the trunk put the baby car seat on the stroller like it's just a lot so i want to get something like the donut that's very convertible and the the convenience is unmatched for the price. But there are some strollers that are more um, like luxury strollers, nice strollers, other than just the Duna. So I wanted to make sure I look into those too. They are a little bit more expensive, but I wanted to go and make sure I check them out to make sure that I'm picking the right one for me and like kind of the my needs, you know. So I'm, I'll probably take y'all stroller shopping. Um, what else do I have to do? I'm trying to think. I have my glucose test this week, so maybe I can take y'all to that. It's an hour glucose test. So I have to go to the doctor, drink a drink, wait an hour, get a test, and then go home. And hopefully I pass it because if you don't pass it, you have to take, I think, a two or three hour one. I don't know because I've always passed it. So hopefully I'm staying on the right track with that so I'll take y'all to my glucose test and then I'll take y'all stroller shopping somewhere in between there I'm looking at my calendar on my refrigerator refrigerator to see yeah so that's really it so I'll take y'all to the doctor stroller shopping and then um probably some other little baby stuff too because I haven't been doing like a crazy crazy amount of shopping I feel I've already been getting gifts from people and stuff like that. People who, you know, just want to look out for us. Give us nice things. Really nice people. Shout out to them. Um, I'm in between about what I want to do about a shower because I wanted to have a big shower, but plenty of events are headaches to me. Like, it's it's so great when you get there and you're, and you're celebrating with everybody, but the getting stuff there, setting it up. Even when you hire a planner, it still can be very stressful. There are still certain things that you still have to do. You know, getting outfits, hair, makeup, this, that, and which it, it's worth it in the end. But I'm just the type of person, but I don't want to do it. I don't want the headache. I don't want the headache. And that's why I didn't have a shower on my second daughter. I only had one with my first daughter. And it was technically thrown for us. So we didn't have to really do much. Um... But that's why I'm trying to debate if I, if I want to have a shower. Because I did my daughter's birthday, her fifth birthday, and then I did my 25th big events. And they were stressful. Not too bad, but it was just a lot of stuff to do. I get overwhelmed to where it's like I got a lot of things to do, a lot of things to do. And I don't like having too much to do on a day of a party because that makes me grumpy when I can't relax. When I'm over, like, stimulating and running around and got to go pick up food, got to go pick up cake, got to drop off food, got to do this, got to do that that is a lot for me and so I'm trying to come up with something that's simple but we can still celebrate the baby and share this time with us okay you guys I'm back all I gotta say is it's summer and my kids are home 
that's it y'all get it like the moms that get it get it you know but yeah that was really it i just want to get up here and update y'all because i've been gone so long i'm trying to get back in the swing of things because you know, I wanted to have everything documented for my pregnancy and different stuff like that too and what's going on in my life. So here's an update, you know, here you go. Of course I got up here and I rambled. Y'all know how they go. My chest is burning y'all, so bear with me. So I'm also gonna insert some ultrasounds, pictures. I'm gonna insert some pictures of me throughout this pregnancy because I've been eating the girls the up, okay? I ain't sat down, I ain't sitting down, I ain't never sitting down, okay? I've been putting it on, belly out, giving slight Christian with the belly, you know? So I'm gonna put some pictures in there because I need y'all to see how I've been giving it up this whole pregnancy. I'm gonna keep giving it up like that this whole nine months, then pop back out, no belly, body looking crazy, push in the stroller, okay? But thank y'all for tuning into my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm me on Instagram at J the biggest i am on tiktok at i am jayla k y'all have a great day bye